Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Lugia here, one of your announcers for the MPL, and today people, we are back for week 3 of the Pokemon of the Week. This series is going to focus on the best performing mons during the previous week of battles, analyzing what they did so well, and how they were able to work on their respective teams. They may not always be the mons with the most kills, but also looking at their pressure during the match. Make sure to let me know if there are any MVPs you think should make it here, and without further ado, let's get into it. To kick off this week, we are going to be looking at Vaporeon from the Anasar Umbreons coached by Mystic Umbreon in their match versus Viridian Beedrills. Now Vaporeon didn't pick up 20 knockouts this week, but it was very bulky, annoying, and pivotal for the eventual outcome of the match. So the match leads off with Vaporeon versus Darmanitan. Darmanitan puts a huge dent in the Umbreon's team, but Vaporeon was there to make sure it couldn't wreak havoc and forces it to go for a U-turn and take Rocky Helmet damage. Clefable then comes in takes a Scald, and gets burnt. Clef is a huge nuisance to take down, but Vaporeon was there to ease the pressure with that residual damage. Clef tries to pull off a cheeky combine, but Vaporeon roars it out. Darmanitan is then brought back in, and Rotom is hard switched in, and again, a Scald picks up a burn. Only 4 turns in, and Vaporeon is putting in a ton of work. Vaporeon was able to restrict the Darmanitan during the whole match, limiting it to little damage and knocking itself out with a Flare Blitz recoil. GG Vaporeon. Next up on the list we have Kieran Black from the Detroit Leopards, coached by Cypher in their match versus the San Francisco 49 Tails. Now we had Kieran B at number 1 last week and I have a feeling he'll be on here quite often. Now he didn't top the list this week but barely missed out with his performance. Kieran B switches in versus a Zapdos on a Defog. Kieran B is Scarped, keep in mind. So it powers up an Icy and bye bye Tweety. The defensive Zapdos is Okoed right then and there. One kill already. Later on, he's in versus the Nidoking, who opts to switch out, and what does Kieran do? Earth Power and take out the huge threat that is Victini. Azov then comes in in order to preserve Kieran to win the match. He sends in and sacks Volcanion. He then sends it in, locks himself into Ice Beam, and down goes the Azelf. They both have one Mon left, and Nidoking is sent in. Kyurem is naturally faster, so it would outspeed even a Scarf Nidoking. But because of Kyurem's nature, which turned out to be mild by the way, Nidoking actually outsped, pulled off a Sludge Wave, but Kyurem lived on 6 HP. It tanks it and proceeds to knock it out with an Ice Beam. What a game. Kyurem showing why it is so good and will be fighting every week to be the best Pokemon. So coming in at the number 1 spot, we have Superior from the Miami Heat Moors versus the Chicago Chandelures coached by Asteroid. Now this team was originally coached by Poi, but had to leave the league for personal reasons, and is now coached by Token Minorities. Having said that, that's why we're using the former logo. Now adding to that, this is the first time using the team, he didn't draft it, and that's why he edged it in to the top of the list. So he has Superior, he goes for the Leaf Storm on an incoming Mew, he knows it's a win condition for the game. So he goes for the Leaf Storm, Mew takes it, but Superior just barely misses out on the KO on the next turn. He goes for the Defog, but nonetheless Superior is able to pick up the KO on the following turn. Fast forward later into the battle, he sends it in versus a very weak height Dragon. Leaf Storm knocks it out. What even is a resistance? Volcarona comes in? No problem. Hidden Power Rock Oko. Sorry Volcarona. All we have left is the Lapras and Leaf Storm connects and that seals the game. 4 kills for Superior in Token's debut, not a bad way to kick off the season. And there you have it guys, week 3 of the Pokemon of the week. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you thought and any other Pokemon that you thought should make it there. Make sure to check out all the coaches as well linked down below. And until next time, thanks for watching, Megalugia here checking out. Peace!